Hi guys, welcome back. Transparent Vegan, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share a recipe with you. It's quick, it's easy, it doesn't take any kind of fancy ingredients and I think it's one that your entire family will love. It can be made in about 30 minutes. It's not one of my recipes. It comes from Chris at Sweet Simple Vegan. They have a lot of lovely recipes. You should check them out. They've got a YouTube channel, they're on Instagram, but they have really great recipes. Um, a lot of people ask me, Jackie, why don't you use your own recipes? Well, the problem with my cooking, guys, is that I learned from my grandmother how to cook, and it was little of this, little of that, little of this, and you keep going until you have it the flavor that you want, and sometimes that's really hard to duplicate. But I'm working on some of my own. It just takes time. So what we're going to have today is a one-pot creamy taco pasta, and I'll put the link in the description. And the first thing we're going to do is I put a little bit of oil in my pan. We're gonna add some onion and garlic. So we're gonna get that cooking right now. Got this pan nice and hot. So, we're gonna cook that onion. It says cook it for about two to three minutes. So that's what we're gonna do and it smells so good already. Now, I've had lots of questions about where vegans get their protein, and I'm hoping to do some in-depth look and comparison about the different kinds of proteins that vegans use, because a lot of people think that if you're not eating meat, you can't possibly get everything that you need. And that's really not true, guys. For instance, I'm using Meatless Farms. I picked this up at Whole Foods. Each serving of this has got 16 grams of protein in it. Now, this is a plant-based ground beef plant-based product. We're going to put this in next. I have now made this recipe a few times and I'm telling you it is it is great. I think that you'll really love it. I'll think every, I think everybody in the family will love this one. So we'll get this going. We'll get our little plant-based meat cooking. Let me put my glasses back on. Quit pretending like I can see. Um, now we're going to let this cook. Now to this we're gonna add some taco seasoning. I picked up a pack of organic taco seasoning at Whole Foods when I got plant-based meat. Um, we're gonna let that brown for about five minutes, it says. That is one of the beauties of when you're not using actual meat. You do not have to cook it for a long time and you really don't have to worry about undercooking. So we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes on my handy dandy little hot plate here. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, the weather's really pretty here in Wilmington. It's sunny out. It's a little cool, but it's a nice day. Let's see. I haven't talked to you. I have talked to you since my birthday, but I was going to tell you what my kids ended up getting me for my birthday. They got me an electric bike. Okay? <laughs> now, I'm 59 years old. I haven't actually rode a bike in years and years and years. And when I was in the hospital and had my spinal leaks, and for a while I couldn't walk, I couldn't do much of anything, I got really weak. So they figure this electric bike also has pedal assist. So the other day we were able to go to the park and spend a couple of hours, and I was actually able to bike ride with the kids, which I'm not usually ever able to do because I can't keep up with them. And it was nice because I pedaled on my own um, for as long as I could. And then I could turn on the electric part of the bike and it would help me with the pedal assist. So I have got to say that that was probably one of the coolest birthday presents I have ever gotten. I love being able to, to be outside and to be able to, you know, keep up <laughs> with people that want to do things. Because it's very difficult as you're building your strength back whenever you're coming back from any sort of illness. But anyway, the electric bike is actually really awesome. Okay, so we're doing this and we're just letting this brown up. I don't have any cute assistants with me today. Um, the girls are at um, puppy daycare. We just do that to keep them socialized and they absolutely love to go and spend time there. Now my Buffy, who's the Mastiff, she doesn't do a lot of playing but she does walk around and she loves the humans and she really loves it if they get a water hose after. So we will see. My granddaughter, Miso, is extremely social. Um, she was in a boarding facility after they rescued her in Korea, and she's, she's a little social butterfly. But she continually goes back and forth to check on her buff buff to make sure she's okay. 
All right, so this is browned now. So what we're gonna do is I was telling you, I picked up a pack of just organic taco seasoning. It says to put a tablespoon, but I'm actually making this for my kids and they love this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a pack in there. I'm not gonna need to add any salt or anything like that because that's actually all that's in the taco seasoning. Now this is really cool because you're gonna end up adding pasta to it. So it's really, really substantial. You need a way to stretch things. You know, it's funny, but right now, um, the plant meat, they're trying to reduce the cost of that so that people can buy it because meat has skyrocketed in price so much. And this is one, like I said, most everybody likes tacos. Everybody's kids, everybody's family loves tacos. All right, so we put this in like this and we're going to add our, um, we put in salsa. Like I said, the recipe, I'll have everything listed for you. We're gonna put in the salsa. We are going to put in two cups of vegetable broth. Okay. We are also going to put in our black beans and we put in our corn. Okay. So far so good. This is not a difficult recipe at all. It calls for frozen. I've used frozen and I'm fixing to use canned. So, I've used both, and both are delicious in the recipe. So now that we've got that in here, and we've got some liquid, we're gonna put two cups of pasta. They did rotini, I happen to have rotini, so that's what I'm putting in too. So, we're gonna put in two cups of pasta. We're gonna mix it all up really good like it says to do. Okay, you keep them with me. This is a 30 minute meal, guys. This is really, really great. Okay, so we've added all of that. We're gonna bring it to a bowl. And if you remember, my little hot plate takes a while. So we're gonna let this come up to a bowl. Okay. And after that, we're gonna lower it and then we're gonna let it cook until the pasta, it says, is al dente, okay? So right now we're gonna let this come to the bowl. I will tell you a little story about Misa, who is all of 30 pounds. Um, she's the little Samoya Jindo mix that my daughter adopted from Korea. And she's fierce. I mean, you've now seen pictures of, of her and Buffy. Buffy's like 170 pounds, Miso's 30, but Miso is fierce. And she really, really loves me. And she's very protective of me. And she always makes sure I'm all right. She always checks on me. So the other day, someone had come to spray in the yard and I have like a glass door between the, the main door of my house. So he was trying to tell me something. <laughs> well, let's just put it like this. Grandma isn't dating anyone, but Miso let me know yesterday I would never be dating anyone because while he was trying to talk to me about the yard, she was taking that little 30 pound body, backing it up and throwing it into the glass door. And just the sounds coming out of her like you would not believe. In other words, you're not getting near my Grammy. So there you go. My life will be with my dogs, okay? All right, guys, this has come to the bowl. And so what we're gonna do now is it says that we should um, lower it to low heat, cover it with a lid. We're gonna let it simmer for 10 to 13 minutes. Let me get the lid for it. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll give it one more stir. We're gonna let it simmer and then we're gonna come back and we will finish up and we'll try it. All right. Be right back. I'll show you my beautiful flowers my son got for me for absolutely no reason. Just brought them to me and said, here, Mom. And I'm like, oh, I love to get flowers when there's absolutely no reason. I want to be able to share with you plant-based meals that not only taste good, but they're good for you. And that make your life that's already complicated enough less complicated. Because to get something nice and hot and filling for your family, for your kids, for yourself, in about 30 minutes, is not, it's not bad at all. Our timer's gone off. So what we do now is, we'll turn the heat off. Did I turn it off? Yes. And then what you do is you're gonna put in some cheddar cheese. Now mine's a plant-based cheddar. You're gonna stir that in. Well, kids don't love cheddar cheese. It's a plant-based one. It's delicious. I just got the one from Whole, the Whole Foods brand. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna stir it up till it's all nice and melty. 
I mean, you've got the black beans, which have tons of protein in them. You've got the plant-based meat that's got lots of protein in it. Um, depending on your pasta, there are pastas that have so much protein. Um, you're getting plenty of protein in here for a plant-based meal that you can feel good about. All right, I'm gonna put some in a bowl and fix it up like I'd wanna eat it. And a little bit in here. All right. Now, put the lid back on here. Now for me, I've got some green onions because I love green onions. I think they make everything taste better. I've also got this nice little avocado. I know everybody's got their way of doing it. I just kind of cube it up. And yes, I have it all over my fingers. So let me rinse my fingers off. I'm sure you don't want me standing there with that all over my fingers talking to you. So I put some avocado on there. You can actually put some more of your vegan cheese on there to make it look pretty. Like I said, I just used the 365 whole food brand. Just put a little bit of that on there to make it pretty. And then hot sauce, if you like hot sauce. I'm going to tell you about a brand that is absolutely fantastic. It's called Yellow Bird. They make some of the best sauces I have ever had. So this one happens to be the Serrano, which is organic garlic, cucumber, and lime. So we're gonna put a little bit of this on here. I can't eat a lot of hot stuff, but I do like some, all right? Now, we are going to grab a utensil, and we are gonna try this, and we're gonna see how it is. So remember, you got corn, you got beans, you've got a plant-based meat, you've got a plant-based cheese. It's, it's a beautiful dish. Um, you can put the avocado in it, the onion when you're done, whatever you like. Some people, you know, around here, you know, you could crunch up Frito-Lays, whatever it is you like in yours. And we'll give it a taste and see how it is. Mmm. Oh, I just like taco in a bowl. It is so delicious, guys, no joke. It's a 30-minute meal. Like I said, it doesn't take anything fancy, but it ends up tasting absolutely delicious. I think this is something your entire family is going to love. Listen, thanks again so much for tuning in, giving me your time. I appreciate it so much. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with anyone that you think would like it. Any suggestions you have, ideas you have for me, please, please put it in the comments. I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. Um, I'll be I post videos on Wednesdays, so this will come out next Wednesday. And everybody just take care of themselves, and I'll see you soon. Transparent Vegan out.